morning, Chichi. Good morning, Munchies. Happy Vlogmas, day 10. We're in the double digits now. Oh, yeah, double digits. Oh, yeah. Good morning. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Okay, me and my best friend are celebrating a 100-day streak on TikTok. I don't know if you guys care like that, but we're celebrating a 100 days, and we thought it'd be fun to do a food tour at the world-famous Pike Place. It's supposed to be a, uh, like a festive food tour, um, but let's see how festive it is. And we also spent $90 for the food tour, so... I've never taken a food tour in Seattle, but let's see how it goes. Okay, we made it, except I don't really know where to go. I think it's somewhere in Post Alley, so let's find out where to go. Um, how have I lived here all my life and I don't even know where I'm going? Uh, I think Pike Place is this way. Let me see. I was gonna GPS it. I think we're meeting at the gum wall. Made it! Wow, look at the grossness of it. Expanding and adding more of a menu, and they'll be open in January. Chai is not just a drink, um, but like every family has their own version of it, and they serve it to guests when they come into the home. So it's a gesture of hospitality, and it's a way to welcome someone into your home. So Thank you. welcome to Pike Place Market. Thank you. I would like to say Salute. It's my home. Thank like, you. But you can call it. <laughs> well, this is really good. Start right now. But anyway, we're gonna talk about the gum wall. Um, mostly because it's just impossible not to talk about the wall, <laughs> which is the cleanest it has been in five years at this point, because um, they just pressure washed it about three weeks ago or so. Um, but if anyone doesn't know, the gum wall, it's like history, began with this theater. They were just sitting in the lobby out here. So they opened up in the early 90s. They do improv comedy theater here. Um, there was a line of gentlemen around here along this section of the wall waiting to go in to buy their tickets to go see the show. Um, and there is no gum allowed inside the theater. So, Stuck into the wall. Where would we be today as a city if we just had a trash can right here? That <laughs> <laughs> right. Um. Bye, Bye. <laughs> He scoffed at me. He did? Yeah, he said. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, but one of the newest places in Pike Place Market, they opened up in 2019. Uh, and even though opening up here is their flagship store and then entering into the pandemic which is kind of historically like the worst time to like be a business and open new business they were still so popular and so successful and so they start making at midnight every day Thank you. so the spanish opener it's like it's a traditional greek savory spinach pie but the reason why we're serving it here on tour is because the owner here her name's maria like she's from copenhagen She's a baker, but she's been all over the world, and she baked all from all That's over well. the world. <laughs> and they've sort of mixed those things that you can get here. So you can get a very traditional, like, spinach pie made in an untraditional way because it uses a very sort of puffy, almost croissant, mixed between, like, a croissant and a traditional bread dough there. So it's like a French influence Mediterranean item being sold out of a Scandinavian bakery in Seattle. So there you go. You're in it, but it's not the predominant flavor. Not the predominant flavor. It's shaped like a snowflake. Yeah, that was the hardest part of my day right there. I like it. Mm -hmm. That's good. And the pavilion and this little park that we're on right here was built in 2017. 2017, this was part of a fundraising campaign to just sort of help with this whole project. Oh. You can just put whatever you wanted on it, you can have your name and be part of the market forever. So. Somebody said, will you marry me? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I was like, that's... I wonder how many people have seen that accidentally and been like, yes, be like, oh, oh no. there's, a, there's initials on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 
Fancy. Seeds and fruit and all, and it's left to ferment for five to seven days. So it's gonna taste like eggnog. Nice. Ooh. Um, it's eggnog. Um, so, what you guys would taste right now? Yeah, I'm just gonna eat egg. It's what we do is it's an overnight process. We heat up some uh, milk, we put down all the potential bad bacteria overnight. So if they're constantly spinning, then you're gonna get a really icy, almost sorbet-like product. That's not what we're going for. Yeah. They got different flavors. <gasps> oh yeah. I need cranberry, ube coconut, and lemon curd. Yeah, I'm coming back and buying some more. That was good. There's a Starbucks that's not the original Starbucks. Oh, okay, there's a guy. I'm excited for these tamales. They better be good. They better be all dancing. My mom, her tamales are always like really dry and they're never filled enough. But some of her friends make these bomb tamales. Cause my mom doesn't put like fat in it either. And you're supposed to put fat because then it gets like really buttery and like soft. I just hope your mom's not watching my vlogs. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, sorry. Sorry mom, I love you but. The tamales ain't it. Thank you. Okay. This is all for a private tour. Oh, oh yeah. of course. <laughs> Closer. Here that they make here are based on masa, right? So they make tortillas and they make tamales, they make gorditas, right? Um, all of the corn Good that mom. they bring in is direct sourced from farmers in Mexico and it's all heirloom varieties. So this is made with a blue corn heirloom variety. Um, and then when they make the masa, they do it in a process that is called mixed tamalization, which is a centuries old processing method. And there's absolutely nothing fancy or special or secret about it whatsoever. But the reason that it's so rare to find is because it takes a whole lot of time um, so like lots of major like producers uh, who are gonna make masa and sell to uh, like restaurants, yeah, they're just, that time is money. They're not gonna do it, right? So there's yeah. Wait, that was my second time ever having a tamale. Really? Where'd you have the first one? At um, a multicultural potluck in elementary school. How was it? Garbage. <laughs> so I'm <laughs> probably like my mom. <laughs> Which is why I've never had tamales, but that one was bomb. So the best tamale I've ever had was this Guatemalan tamal because they make it in the banana leaves. <gasps> Does it give the banana flavor? No, but it's like super moist and like buttery and like my mom's friend makes them. Oh my god, amazing. Like the filling is so bomb. I know she about to make one for Christmas, so give me one. Okay. I just wanted to try this place. Thank you. We got the honey crisp. Wait, the spiced honey crisp ginger beer? Whoa. That's tart. Very tart. That's really good. As you can imagine, they do really good cocktails. Why are you drinking it like that? They have your cocktails and they have your on tap. So they add the liquor. That's good though. So many tastings here. We're gonna do these in two rounds. In the first round, everyone's gonna take one of these cups here. It's got multiple tastings in it. And then we're gonna go through these all one by one. All right. So the first thing we're gonna try uh, is the one right on top. It looks like a big raisin. Uh, that is cherry. the product that started the business, right? So a woman oh, who founded it. This is a big cherry. Shiny dark so chocolate. Variety, dried in hot air. This is a 
European style small batch dark chocolate, dark chocolate um, always 100% organic, no like added like wax fillers or anything like that. Um, and then they call it natural red wine essence. There's no wine in it, uh, but just like similar blend of like spices and fruit. There's a fruit, top seven servings a day. Every oh my god. Day. Yeah. Um, but legitimately, like chocolate begins its life as a fruit, wine begins its life as a fruit. If you don't cup, it's called the hazelnut cherry. This is their newest item. So it made its debut this time of year, last year. It is, uh, you know, bean cherry in the middle, dried in hot air, wrapped in a milk chocolate, and then rolled in crushed organ hazelnuts. This is effectively Ferrero Rocher, but with a cherry in the middle mm -hmm. instead of a hazelnut. I like that one. Again, only available this time of the year in their seasonal items that they've got. Most of everyone is familiar with Beecher's as well. Right here in the market, they do all their cheese making right here in the market. All their milk is delivered fresh every single day from Duval. Not aged, it's fresh. I have fresh cheese curds. The jet. Uh, everyone enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. Right. Ooh, look at the grapefruit. Wait, that's a blood orange. <gasps> Donuts! Yes, I'm excited. Sounds good. Thank you. And for Shiwa? Yes, look at that. It's a corner without finding one, let me tell you. But out in Germany, they usually have apple cider festivals. And uh, that's where they originally. Yeah, the Christmas. Uh, around, like, this is November, what I came here for. Yeah, all that fun jazz. They love those apple cider donuts, mm. let me tell you. <laughs> Yeah, the tea. Thank you. Thank you. The signature market spice tea. Mm. Uh, I think this is ginger. Our records of the store actually begin. Other than the fact that Wait, a lot of people don't know this, but when you're talking about one tamal, it's just tamal. And when you're talking about a lot, it's tamales. Okay, I, my favorite is the tamal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Wait, what flavor is this? He said orange, clove. Uh, market spice. Market spice. Mm. My favorite? Yeah. Or probably yeah. the cookie, the spinach thing, the ginger beer, the tamal, oh, and the apple cider donuts. So the whole <laughs> tour was your favorite. <laughs> okay, well, her favorite was the whole tour, so she definitely recommends this place. <laughs> I like the tamal. Maybe because I'm hungry and I want like a full meal. I want like food. I do, that is one of my criticisms, I wish there was more food food. Yeah, I wish there was more food and less snacks, but even though the snacks were good, I don't know if it was worth $90. No. That's my the overall. Yeah, like, I'll pay 50 Yeah. <laughs> but 90 is a lot. I would recommend it. I would recommend it... Well, don't ask me. Like, if you didn't live here. Yes. Yeah, like, it's a good thing. It's a good tour if you didn't live here. But yeah. Look how cute that is. Little hat. World star. You can't even see your windows dirty. Who has Safeway and these cars are gonna fight? This car is trying to back in, but then this that car over like... there is a blocking them. And none of them are budging. Comment down below, you think one, number one, or number two is going to win? Oh, number two is backing it up. Number one is leaving. I'm confused. <gasps> is she taking the spot? <gasps> oh, she's taking the spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You better fight around. Oh, it's okay because this car, thankfully, is Ooh, leaving. But they're gonna get out, and they're gonna they're gonna run it. <laughs> yeah, the team. Oh no, you gonna find out? It Wait, who came first, though? This guy. This guy was reversing into the spot. She came out of nowhere, and I was like, "Nope, I'm gonna need that spot." Anyways, we're too safe way because we need groceries. This right here. The best also and then the only tortilla chips you should be getting is 
these ones right here. The only good ones. Oh, what the heck? They changed the names? When did they change the name of these? I thought these were Juanitos. Now they're Juan Juantonios? What the heck? Must be his brother or something. Hey, did you know they changed the name of these? Juantonios? They're now Juantonios. Um, probably this one. Okay. You have any idea of what we should eat for dinner? What should we have for dinner, Benini? Oh, oh, we're being attacked! Ah, is it attacked? Ah! Oh my god, I can't see! You wanna open Advent? We made it to day 10. Can you believe there's two more weeks left of... Oh, you want to be part of the advent calendar? Okay, we got two little helpers. We have Panini and Sita. Day 10, everybody. Oh, we got three little helpers. Okay, let's see what's in day 10. <gasps> Cute! It's a money cat, I think. It's a cat that's stretching. Oh, okay, let's see. We got these two so far. Cute. You like it? It's a cat. I don't think you've ever met a cat before. You like it? All right. Okay, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.